It's 2025 and you're an architect that doesn't know how to use chat GPT. Thankfully, that's not my nightmare and after today's video, it won't be yours either. Today, I'm gonna to show you exactly how I use chat GPT as an architect to speed up my workflows. I'll get into the pros and cons of ChatGPT at the very end, so be sure to stick around for that. Let's start with the burden of every architect, understanding the construction codes. You see, on the left-hand side of my panel, I have two different NCC, the National Construction Code chats available to me. So 2022 is actually an NCC assistant that you can download and install. You don't even have to go in and add any documentation. It has everything already in there for you. Considering the NCC 2022 is going to be relatively adopted Australia-wide by the 1st of May 2025, Western Australia is so far behind, I'll show you how to get this one in particular. If we click up the top here, NCC 2022, or whatever your title of your chat is, we can then come across to explore GPTs. After that top right hand corner, if we simply type in NCC 2022 and press enter, you'll see the NCC 2022 assistant. There is also an NCC 2022 expert. I haven't actually tried this one out at all, but you're most welcome to see how it compares. I'll add that one regardless so we can explore it together. Now, personally, I use the NCC expert to just dig up items that I'm familiar with but can't find exact things I'm looking for. As an example, let's just hit one of these test items. What is the fire resistant requirement for a building elements in a class two building? The assistant will then go ahead and read the documentation and provide you with a generic answer. Now, use this information with a grain of salt. ChatGPT sometimes, more likely than not, will give you inadequate information when you're searching for very specific things or it won't read the code in its entirety. So whatever it gives you, if you're looking for that answer, go back and double check it in the actual NCC to make sure you're not doing anything wrong. But as you can see, it gives you a very detailed answer of everything that you might be looking for within a matter of seconds. So it is an incredibly useful and versatile chat and feature of ChatGPT. You see it's come up to the top as fire resistance class two requirements, which is the name of the chat. I can simply just rename that to NCC 2022 expert and there I can quickly reference it whenever I need it. Now, just like the NCC, trolling through planning documentation is an absolute nightmare. Here in Western Australia, every single council has their own planning requirements and planning guidelines. There is an overarching framework for the state, but every city and every shire builds on top of it and changes it however they like. So generally, you go ahead and read the whole standard and then you go through every city and read their standards to see what you can and can't do. Considering the number of cities and shires in Western Australia and just the sheer size of Western Australia, that would take forever to memorize everything. So what I tend to do is upload documentation directly into ChatGPT and add a few references here and there. That way ChatGPT starts to build an understanding of the local planning frameworks, the main planning frameworks, and start to create arguments. It can create arguments one and two. Of course, it can dig up the same information that you're looking for, similar to how we explained in the NCC version. So if you're looking, for example, overshadowing, you can quickly ask ChatGPT what the overshadowing is for a specific site based on its zoning. If you're looking for setback requirements, those sorts of things, it can easily find that information for you in a matter of seconds. And the best thing is you can just build and build and build and build. If you provide ChatGPT with more information or more examples, additional planning frameworks, then it will become more accurate. What I would highly recommend if you're in a position like myself where every shire and every council has a different planning requirement and regulation would be to start individual chats, have a template which has all of your ARC code documentation and then upload the specific documentation from each Shire, renaming the chats accordingly. Next on the list is incredibly generic and everybody uses ChatGPT for this, but it is a huge time saver. Writing formal professional replies and formal professional emails just takes a lot of energy and time. So what I've tend to do these days is draft up a very generic response throw it into ChatGPT, allow it to provide me with a professionally written reply, and then edit that to be more suitable. Sometimes you go through that once or twice, sometimes you go through a thousand, two thousand times before you figure out what you need. But overall, it is a very simple way to use ChatGPT. If you take nothing else from this video, that's probably the key element to save you an abundance of time. Because as architects, we have so many emails come in and out every single day. 
Thankfully, it's getting built in behind the scenes into all of our web browsers and all of our email clients. So this might appear natively to you without you ever having to use ChatGPT. But if you wanna be ahead of the game, you're gonna do that now. Now, as an architect on YouTube, obviously I do a lot of social media, but as architects, we also need to promote our own businesses. That's what ChatGPT can once again come in handy for. You see, ChatGPT can create copy like an expert can in social media. All you need to do is give it the right prompts and give it the right guidance. That might mean creating multiple prompts, multiple chats, going through it time and time again until you refine it to your exact style. But once you have it up and running, then ChatGPT will be able to create content for you with just one or two simple description lines. If you're feeling extra lazy, you can throw in your social media picture into ChatGPT and allow it to just create a generic description. Now, this isn't recommended. It is very, very generic and social media platforms are all over this. You're not gonna grow your social media at all by doing it this way. You really wanna create curated content, which means providing the prompt, rewriting it, putting it back in, rewriting it, spending a lot of time just fine tuning rather than copying and pasting the first thing. You see one example here on the screen that allows you to do this, but what it gave out was relatively basic and not recommended to be used if you're looking to grow on social media. ChatGPT isn't just for basic language models either. It can do mathematical models as well. As architects, we do have to do a reasonable amount of calculations in our work. One example here is waste calculations, something that's relatively generic, but something that takes more time than it's often worth to calculate manually. So by providing a relatively generic prompt with the specifications of the council and the waste guidelines, ChatGPT was able to provide calculations and justifications within a matter of seconds. Now, I will once again point out that these calculations had to be cross-checked. They had to be corrected because the interpretation of ChatGPT from the documentation originally was wrong. So it meant extra work, it meant fine tuning, and eventually, as you see, I continue to scroll down, there's probably four or five or six revisions until that calculation was actually correct. So as much as ChatGPT is awesome, please, please cross-check all of its work. Moving on to another ChatGPT plugin, same sort of system, explore GPTs and look for ArchiCAD Ultimate Assistant. Now, personally, I use ArchiCAD. There is a Revit version and there is probably a version for whatever software you use. The frequently asked questions, the forums, they all just take way too long to troll. So if you're looking for a specific bit of information but can't figure out how to make that work on your software, just come into ChatGPT, ask it how you should be able to do it and it will spit out basically a walkthrough of how you can solve your problem. So once again, it's saving us time, it's moving our projects further along quicker. We don't have to spend hours researching. We can simply come into this, ask it some questions, get an answer and move on. Finally, let's just talk about the pros and cons of ChatGPT. Now, as a professional, ChatGPT is a useful tool, but it is a tool that is a starting point. Way too often are things wrong and way too often is the information just completely falsified. I've asked it to provide references and examples from the NCC to be able to actually justify some arguments and it's not able to. When you go through the NCC and read it word for word, its interpretation is completely incorrect compared to what a professional would interpret it as. So with an absolute grain of salt, use ChatGPT, but please be mindful of what it provides you. It is an incredible time-saving tool and that's all it really needs to be. Is a little bit of time-saving, but you still got to do the hard yards and you still got to know your stuff when you're asking the question. Right now, it's not replacing anybody. It's not there yet, but it is moving forward in dramatically impressive ways every single month. Anyway, that's all for me team. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you smash that subscribe button down below and like always, I'll see you next week.